So, oh my god, Minecon Live, my Minecraft Live, Minecon, I don't know, Minecraft Event 2021 just happened, I'm recording this literally like 15 minutes after it's over, and oh my god, is there a lot of stuff to unpack in it. So, I'm in this video, I'm basically just gonna go over and talk about all the cool things that Mojang announced in minecon 2021 minecraft live i don't even know all right so first i'm gonna just go through like the little boring stuff i guess maybe you're interested in it but personally i was just like smaller stuff in my opinion uh so first we got caves and cliffs uh it's actually we found out the announced date for caves and cliffs which is in the next couple of months it might even be like late november so that's you know very exciting and also sadly uh a big part of the caves and cliffs update uh deep dark is not coming until 1.19 but you know it's i'm i'm under the opinion that you can delay it as long as you want to get a better product like if they rushed it it would kind of just turn out half baked and just not not as not as good as our expectations were hoping for so i'm glad i'm personally just glad that they they they're taking their time on it. Uh, Minecraft is coming to Xbox Game Pass, um, both Java Edition and Bedrock Edition on the same platform, which I guess is a cool thing. Uh, it's, it's, it doesn't really interest me too much, but that's happening in November. Very, very cool. Uh, we also got Block Bench. We got to see a lot about how the developers for the Minecraft Marketplace make, you know, mob models and stuff using Block Bench. So that was pretty cool. And um, then we also got Minecraft Dungeons. We heard a lot about like new DLC and stuff for Minecraft Dungeons. I personally don't really play Minecraft Dungeons. I'm not too into it, but you know, hey, that's cool if you're into that stuff. Then the big thing, the, the actual 1.19 update. All right, here we go. It's called the Wild Update. Very, very cool. And it's coming in 2022. So there is so many things coming in this update. No, it might be better than Caves and Cliffs if it, you know, comes out in one piece. Um, first, we got, you know, a new, a whole new biome called the Mangrove Swamp. It's got like, a, it's got these new trees and everything. It's really, really cool, in my opinion. It's got like the mangrove trees there. They're the only tree that actually grows in water. So that's very cool. And um, we got to hear a bit about why uh, the developers chose to put in mangrove trees. Uh, we all know like Mojang, they, they, you know, they love to bring awareness to environmental issues and just stuff like that. So mangrove trees are actually very uh good for the environment like they protect the land from floods and stuff from our understanding they're 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 cool cool trees and they they got like these a uh, the whole new type of wood too and it kind of looks like jungle wood but a bit more uh less sucky and then we also got to hear about like just it's the wild update is kind of just like an atmosphere update to make the whole game just feel a bit more atmospheric so like we got to see a, a bit of concept art for example this birch forest which was very very cool looking it had just a lot of a lot of more atmospheric things to make the game feel more real and i think that's great i, I think mojang is going in the right direction with that we also got to see frogs frogs in minecraft what and i think mojang did this actually really great so far i mean they, they even have like different variations depending on where tadpoles what baby frogs are tadpoles that's actually really sick but depending on where the the frogs actually grow up you'll get a different variation of frog which is really cool i mean you got this like the snowy one uh you got the the normal swamp one and then you also got the tropical one and i think these are really cool i mean it's just a new idea i guess well not really that new but it's cool. Personally, my favorite frog is obviously the cold one. It just really looks nice. Then also we got mud. What? <laughs> and the way you can make mud is by using a water bottle. It looks like you just pour water on a piece of dirt and it turns into mud. Personally, the texture of it, in my opinion, doesn't look very good. But obviously, all this stuff is subject to change. Mojang is going to make new ideas and everything. We'll get to see the snapshots. It's going to be great. And then the big thing about mud was that you can actually make mud bricks and this i think was really really cool because the developer was talking about how so many people in the world use mud bricks to build their houses and it's just kind of you know linking to the real world i think it's a really cool idea and they're just another type of brick you can never have too many building blocks okay and then we also got along with mud a way to make infinite clay which is very very cool so if you put a mud block on top of like a, a dripstone thing then it'll all the moisture will drip out of it and then you get clay so that's a way to farm clay i guess you could also just use a mason probably easier but 
it's still cool. We also got fireflies, just a very, I really like these because it's just a little atmospheric thing that just really adds to the, to the immersiveness of Minecraft. I mean, we haven't really had anything like this in vanilla Minecraft, so I just think, I think it's a really cool idea. And also, the frogs eat the fireflies, oh my god. And then, oh, the biggest part of the wild update. Chest boat, baby! Oh my god. That is, mm, it's as life-changing, because I remember a couple of years ago when we had that biome boat, and, and one of the biomes in it was the swamp. Swamped update is actually coming now, and one of the things that came along with the biome boat for the swamp was the chest boat. And, oh yes, it's so beautiful. You can ride around in your little chest boat, putting away stuff. Oh, it's just so good, especially since we now have larger rivers with 1.18, and it's just it's really good. It's really good. But that's pretty much it for like the the new new stuff. But there's still a lot of new stuff for the deep dark biome, which sadly it is, yes, coming in 1.19 instead of 1.18. But they have been working hard. There's a ton of new stuff. I mean, you got this really, they showed us this really cool deep dark like city thing. It, I think it's a really cool idea. It's like this cave city, this ancient abandoned cave city. And they were like walking around and it was really really ambience ambiance i don't know i don't know how to say it it was really ambient it looked so cool and then we also saw the warden walking up it was that was terrifying honestly but um we got the darkness effect which is kind of like that really uh where the light kind of fades in and out with the like the candle sort of glow i think that's really really cool and then we also found this like weird altar thing i don't know what that's about maybe some more lore if you would hmm and then, last but not least, we also had different types of the skulk growth thing. I don't know what you call it, but th that was really cool. There was this one that, like, when you stepped on it, it would shriek and then make a bunch of noise. So, like, maybe uh, you would definitely want to avoid that. And then there's also this one that, like, created new, new skulk growth. Like, the, I don't remember what it was called, but that was really cool. Because if you kill, like, a mob around it, then it'll create more skulk growth. So, like... I thought that was just a really cool idea, and it's kind of a way to farm skull growth, which is actually, I think that's really cool. And, of course, how could I forget the mob vote? So, uh, you know, sadly, the mob that I voted for, the Copper Golem, did not win. Actually, it was the LA that won, but I don't, honestly, I don't really care that much because they were all great mobs. And I feel like the LA, yeah, it's a great addition to the game, and I'm excited to see it in the game. But, yeah, that was... I'm pretty sure I got most of the stuff, um, but that was a Minecon 2021. Oh my god, I am so excited, especially since literally there's just a, like a month or two from now, we're gonna have a whole new update, 1.18. Oh my god. <laughs> well, anyway, thanks. I just want to make a little update video in case, you know, you didn't want to watch an entire like two hour live stream you know that's cool and i also felt like the the highlights it, it, they always just leave out a few stuff it's only like a minute 30 seconds so yeah well uh thank you everyone for watching see you later subscribe like all that stuff and bye